Now, when the website is created, I want to show you some other additional features. And the first is user configuration and user handling. You can configure the users in two different ways. First is on the site. You have here when you press the three lines, a user management tab. And from here, you can add new users or you can update the password on the current users. But you can also, and especially first time you download the site to the controller, add and edit users from the web tool. Controller Web comes without any predefined users. But first time you download the website, the system will create an admin user for you. It will also, at the loading procedure, create a password that will be written here at the conversion. If you miss to note this password down in any way, you need to change the password of the pre-made users to a new one. You can also, from this side, press add and add another user. And set what access level the user should have guest operator service or admin also from here you can set the password and you need to confirm it now to get all this loaded to the controller and to the site you need to load this into the controller but you also need to add that the user configuration should be loaded. As default, it's selected preserve web users, means the current users in the site will be preserved and none of the new users from the Exo Designer and from the web tool will be loaded. To change this, you need to take tools, setup actions, and just uncheck preserve users and the new users will be downloaded to the site as well. Now I will show you how to add a controller with not controller web functionality into our controller website. I have here an ExoClever and I want to add that to our controller website that we are now creating. To do this, there are a couple of things, a couple of steps I need to do. First of all, I need to make sure it's communication between the main controller with the website and the other controller. And I will do that in system functions and add an PLA, ELA and IP routing in between these two controllers. Then I also need to select the other controller, go to config, add remove functions and add the web slave function. This will copy the necessary files into the controllers folder. Please note that you don't need to reload the other controller when this is added. When the web slave functionality is added, you will also get these three shortcuts. So you can configure 
the site that's going to be represented with this controller. Next thing is that I go to the controller with the website. I open the web tool. And on the first line here, I on the user area parameter, I change to selected areas. When doing that, I will get an area list below. And here I can select my, in this case, two controllers that I want to show in this one website. Take change, take save. And uh, now I'll let's test and see how it look. Logging in. And I will see here on the left hand side that I now have two controllers, the first one and the new ExoClever. Here I will now have the same uh, shortcuts and uh, again the last three will be pre-made uh, to fit what's ever made in the other controller in my ExoClever. So for example if I select analog inputs the site will go to the controller, read up the configuration, read up the current values and show everything here on the site. Same thing if I go to time channels and same thing if I look at the alarms in the controller right now. You can of course also add these types of variables on other places. I have, for example, on the dashboard made the left hand side from the controller, from the main controller that runs the website. And on the right hand side here, I have variables and values from the other controller, from the web slave controller. So this is a simple way to modify and modernize a current installation where you can take your controllers, connect them to a new controller with controller web functionality and show everything in the same site.